I got the inspiration for this build from a very very cool YouTuber known as Petco from the Dark Den and his arboreal terrarium was built from a cool Ferrero Rocher little yeah box that the, the chocolates come in so what I want to do is and what I'm planning is to make this into a really nice terrarium as you can see here it's got a nice little lid but we need to modify it and I've got a few household items that's going to help me out with this first of all I've got a candle and let's get the candle started and as the candle is uh, burning I want to tell you a little bit more about my plan so first of all what you need is a small little blade I want to try and see if we can cut the lid obviously guys this is gonna include a few sharp objects and things like that so if you're young and you haven't cut with blades and things like that before and you don't have any experience please get an adult to supervise you or to help you out with the cutting I'm gonna try and cut one third of the, the lid so that I can glue this part onto it and the other part will then become the lid so let me just try and see if I can just estimate that's a rough guesstimate where I want it so let's just start cutting really slowly and with a sharp knife you're just gonna go along the edges and make sure that there's no residual plastic left be sure not to scratch the plastic and again be really really careful not to cut yourself okay so that's the bottom part and the top part which is going to be the lid just clean that up nicely as well Will help if you hold it down. Yeah. And that looks great. Okay, so then what you're going to do is try and get some super glue, and we are now going to glue this part onto the bottom here to make sure that it's going to stay intact. Okay, so this is brand new super glue. So I first need to prime it. Let's see there. Yep. Just use this. hold it there for a few seconds if you want to you can also add a bead and run it down the sides okay and that should hold the, the bottom part nicely in place wondering what am I doing with the candle but uh, for those that took a guess and thought now nah, I'm gonna use a small little iron object to burn some 
holes in here for side ventilation, you're completely right. I've got a fairly large paper clip here. And I'm just going to also use the multi-tools. Other function to hold on to that so that I don't burn myself. So basically what you don't want to do is just heat up the plastic or the, the metal and then you're going to just poke some holes into the plastic to make some nice ventilation holes. And again, I'll speed up this part. Right, now to make the lid, it's fairly simple. All I'm going to do is add it on. And then take a small piece of sellotape and put that over there. Make sure it's a clear one that you can actually see through it. Normally do that and you'll get a nice bead as well. And what I'm going to do now is just cut a small square so that I can easily fit it onto the lid. that turn it on its side give this off again Obviously it will open up quite easily now, but I want to reinforce it, so I want to make another one. I just want to put this one there again, and cut a bit longer than that, cut another one out. Okay, and that's an easy way to make a hinge. So this will fit quite nicely like that. But uh, in order for this not to jump open, I have an idea on how to make a nice little lock uh, mechanism for the top part here. So what you do is you'll take a smaller paper clip and make two holes one through both sections of the, the lid and one just further behind. So I want to close it first firmly, heat that up in the meantime. Okay, so right from the top. And that's it, that's one. And that's another one. Okay, so now you've got two pieces there. So you can see there, there's one like that, and one in the back there. And then you can take a small little paper clip, and this little 
Nothing weird. A little bit more. up press that through there's going to bend the last part of the paper clip back when you do that it fits in nicely and it can't open up, tarantula can't come out. So there's your locking mechanism in place. I'm gonna open it up again, just do that to the side, and you have it. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's DIY build. It is really as easy as one, two, three. Get yourself some chocolates, and remember to get yourself a sling as well, ready for that enclosure. Now, thanks again to Petco for the idea. I did modify it here and there, but most of the ideas came from you. So, big shout out to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. And guys, there's a lot of different variations you can do, but just remember to create enough side ventilation for your tarantula little sling and to put in some substrate and to keep it moist and damp so that the, the little sling, when it molts, it doesn't dry out. So that's it for me, guys. If you find today's video interesting, give me a like. Give me a follow if you're new to my channel and remember to share this with your friends if they are getting a new tarantula sling. And that's it for me. See you guys next time. Bye for now.